It was the morning of March 13th, 1973, when a festering nationwide rail union campaign come to a flashpoint. It would result in a morning of violence where commuters went on a rampage along the Takasaki line, kidnapping station staff, stoning trains and stealing station cash boxes as well as burning the offices in a day of rioting Tokyo has rarely seen. The chaos started at 7.10am when the Weno bound Takasaki line service pulled into Ageo station 14 minutes late. Four other services before it that morning were cancelled thanks to a work to rule union strike. And by the time the train pulled into the platform at Ageo station, passenger numbers on the platforms had swelled to over 5,000. Scuffles broke out between station staff who were trying to move the train on to the next station and some of the 5,000 commuters who were trying to force their way on board the already overcrowded train that had 3,000 passengers jammed inside. On the next platform, another train from Maebashi pulled in. It was already overloaded with 4,000 on board and thousands more pushed forward, trying to force their way inside. It was at this time an announcement was broadcast over the station PA system, stating that all service would be discontinued at Omiya, just two stations away. This announcement was like pulling the trigger of a loaded gun. One frustrated commuter smashed the driver's cab windows, feeling threatened, the driver fled to the station manager's office with commuters in pursuit. They took the station manager and driver hostage and beat them to a point where they both needed hospitalization, not before breaking windows, smashing office furniture and ripping phones from the walls, as well as stealing the station cash boxes. After Ageo station was overrun, bands of commuters started to roam the railway tracks, stoning trains as they sped past, destroying signalling equipment as well as jamming switching points. As the day continued, riders swelled to over 30,000 and seized another six stations along the line. At 10.07, the Miyahara station master and assistant were abducted by passengers and forced to walk along the tracks to Omiya station, some four kilometres away. By this time, 70 Saitama riot police had arrived at the scene at Ageo station. They were greeted by 6,000 furious commuters, some of who were throwing stones. Realising they were drastically outnumbered and ill-equipped to handle the situation, they called for reinforcements from the neighbouring Gumna prefecture to try and help stabilise the situation. The call was answered with 700 reinforcements arriving from multiple police departments and a task force was set up at Ageo station. Trying to avoid capture, hordes of commuters dissipated along the rail lines, disturbing the operations of the Tohoku Main and Kawagoe lines in the process. Not satisfied that authorities and unions had got the message, and in an effort to ensure maximum chaos, someone phoned in a bomb threat at 12.35, indicating that explosives had been planted at Tokyo Station and were due to detonate in 30 minutes. It would turn out to be a prank, and no bomb was found. By midday, most of the 30,000 commuters had given up and started the long walk home, using the rail corridor as the most direct path, as train services were still not running. By the afternoon, a reduced train service was restored on all three affected lines, and seven arrests were made for offences ranging from break, enter and steal, public disturbance and assault. The slowdown which started on March 5th and culminated with the riot on the 13th was called by the National Railways Locomotives Engineers Union, which were demanding that the operator, JNR, maintain the two motormen in each train, and a 40 hour, five day working week, instead of the current six day, 44 hour week. The trip between Ageo and Weno would normally take 37 minutes, but during the go slow campaigns, commuters would often have to endure journeys that could take up to three hours, usually jammed into trains tighter than sardine cans. And while the events of the 13th of March, 1973 were focused on the Takasaki line in the Saitama prefecture, the go slow campaigns were nationwide, affecting over 80 million people. Okay guys, that was the day in the life of a Takasaki line commuter back in 1973. I'm glad that I've never had to endure such an event, but I've seen the famous train pushes in action. And let me tell you, after experiencing such a tight journey, I think I'll walk home if I had to do it again. Anyway, I hope you liked that one. I'm Mike, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.